This video re-released Friday by the campaign of Republican candidate Nikki Haley. What are your thoughts on mental competency tests for our politicians? I believe yes. Her campaign said Biden lacks the mental capacity to effectively serve as president. Meanwhile, Jason Miller, senior advisor to the Trump campaign, said Biden's not going to be any sharper in November. And Trump's political action committee called Biden not only senile, but putting national security at risk. My memory is fine. My memory, take a look at what I've done since I've become president. The president has been on the defensive since pushing back Thursday night against reporters questioning. At issue was a special counsel's report about his mishandling of classified documents. The report also cited his lapses in memory. As he spoke, Biden highlighted his efforts to secure aid for the people of Gaza, making this verbal slip about Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. As you know, initially the president of Mexico, el-Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. It's the third time Biden mixed up world leaders' names in recent weeks. Ahead of the November presidential election, his mistake strengthens the Republican narrative that he is unfit to lead and heightens Democrats' anxiety about his age, prompting pushback from the White House. The president in the last three years has delivered on the economy, has delivered on health care, has turned this country around. Biden's mental and physical fitness is scrutinized every time he commits a gaffe, stumbles, or falls off his bike. But while part of a president's job is performative, there is more to being a leader. The work of governing is the work of management and of team building and of coalition formation. Um, and there's there are no signs that somehow Biden has uh, flagged on those fronts. 76% of voters say they have major or moderate concerns about Biden's mental and physical health, according to an NBC News poll released this week. Only 48% are concerned about Trump's. This despite his multiple flubs. Earlier this month, the former president mistakenly referred to his rival Nikki Haley as former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Patsy Widahuswara, VOA News, Washington.